In this video, we're gonna find the equation of a tangent line to a graph through a given point, and we're gonna use the power rule. So sometimes near the end of pre-calculus, you learn the difference quotient as a way of finding the derivative, but here we're gonna use a shortcut that's learned in calculus called the power rule. And the way this works is, you take this exponent and you bring it down in front of the variable here, x, and you subtract one then from the exponent. So a simple example would be like, say you had seven uh, x to the fifth. You would bring that five down, five times seven is 35, and then you'd subtract one from the exponent, so that'd be four. So that's your derivative. And remember, what is the derivative? The derivative is really a formula for finding the slope of the tangent line. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the x coordinate to plug in for x to then find the slope at that point. So let's dive into example number one. And what we're looking at here is this parabola, 3x squared. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the equation of the tangent line through this point, one comma three. So first things first, let's go ahead and find the derivative. And so we're gonna bring down that two, two times three is six. We're gonna subtract one from the exponent, so that's six x to the first. This is a formula for the slope of the tangent line. And then if I put one in for x here, so this is f prime of one, that's gonna be six times one, which is equal to six. So that means that at this point, it's gonna have a slope of six, the tangent line. We're then gonna use our point slope form of the equation of a line. And you probably remember this from algebra one. We're gonna say y minus the y coordinate of the point equals the slope, which in this case is six, times x minus the x coordinate of the point. Let's go ahead and take it a little further by distributing. So this is six x minus six, and then we'll just get the y by itself by adding three to both sides of the equation. So we get y equals six x minus three. So that's the equation of our tangent line. And let's go ahead and graph it here. So the y-intercept is negative three. The slope is six, which is like six over one. So rise six, run one. So you can see that this graph of our tangent line is gonna look something like this approximately. So you can see it just barely touches the curve at that one point at one comma three. Well, let's take a look at another example. Okay, see if you can do example number two on your own for practice. We've got this function, negative x cubed plus one, which is graphed right here. And we wanna find the equation of the tangent line through this point, negative one comma two. So how would you do that one? Well, if I was gonna do it, the first thing that I would do is I would take the derivative of this original function. And the way we do that is we bring down the exponent. So three times negative one, this is understood to be a negative one, that's gonna give us negative three. We subtract one from the power there, so that becomes a two. And the derivative of a constant, like just a number by itself, the derivative of a constant is zero, so that just cancels out. So now we have our derivative, which is a formula for the slope of our tangent line at any point along this curve, but we're interested in this point negative one, two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this negative one in place of x, so we're gonna calculate f prime of negative one. Negative one squared is one, times negative three is negative three. So that tells us that the slope is gonna be negative three at that point. So using our point slope form, we're gonna say y minus our y coordinate of our point equals our slope, which is negative three, times x minus our x coordinate of our point. Of course, when you subtract, it's like adding the opposite. We're just gonna take this a step further by distributing, so this comes out to negative three x minus three, and then we're gonna get y by itself by adding two to both sides of our equation. So now it's in slope intercept form. y equals negative three x minus one is the equation of our tangent line. Let's go ahead and graph this. It has a y-intercept of negative one, has a slope of negative three, which is like negative three over one, so rise three, run negative one. So you can see that this is gonna look something like this, approximately. So that if we graph our tangent line, it's just gonna barely touch the graph at that point there, and uh, it has a slope of negative three, and you got it. So great job if this, uh, was helpful. I'll go ahead and put another video that I did talking about the power rule right over there. Go ahead and follow me over to that video if you're interested in learning more about the power rule.